Welcome back to the kitchen where I'm joined by Jorge Castro with Sol E. Luna and Cantina. He sent you how to make a fantastic marg. And Meg Lovett is here from the Forge Breast Cancer Survivor Center because we're mixing our love for helping others and margaritas with a nice little pink tree. We're going to get to that in just a moment, but we have a little tease there for you. But first, Jorge has so graciously offered to help us make a signature margarita because I know a lot of people try to do this at home and it's never as good as when you come to Soli Luna. So hopefully you'll give us some good tips on how to make it taste nice. Yeah, it's, it's really simple. Uh, tequila, uh, margarita is just, the basic margarita is made of tequila. Uh, li uh, orange liqueur can be triple sec, can be control, can be grand manier. And you have to have your mix. Uh, sometimes people use lime, they mix with orange can be lemon, but preferably we use lime okay. and, or, and orange juice. Um, and this is very simple. You use, uh, you, you have to have your equipment in home okay. to do your that. Maybe that's uh, why wrong. Uh, ice, uh, you have one and a half ounce of tequila. What are these little things called? Chaser. Got it. Uh, then you have your triple sec triple or control. Sec. And then you have your mix. The mix is all the taste, okay? You just eyeball that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one is uh, basically it's lime juice, uh, orange juice, a little bit of water, just to reduce the sweetness of the, okay. the flavor. Um, just shake and just pour, and you're ready to drink your margarita. This uh, margarita we call in Cantina Margarita. It's a lime base we mm -hmm. had in Cantina Soli Luna. Talking about the prickly pear, this is the fruit of the prickly pear. This is the prickly pear. Okay, fruit. look how gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It grows on top of a cactus. It grows on top of the cactus. It's a fruit. It's kind of sweet. Uh, this is the real, and this is the one that give you their color and flavor to our pink Our margarita. pink drink. Okay, so Meg, we're so excited that he's partnering again for the signature drink, the prickly pear margarita for hot pink, which is this Thursday. Yes. This is a huge <laughs> event and just kind of tell us why it's important that we do this thing, part of local business, all for the Breast Cancer Survivor Center. Yeah, we are so excited. The prickly pear margarita has been our signature drink for every year of hot pink. People come back, they want it. Um, Jorge is so generous every year to do this for us. We love partnering with Soleil Luna um, to provide this. And we do two versions. We do the hard stuff with the tequila, and then we do a prickly pear mocktail because hot pink benefits all those impacted by breast cancer in mm -hmm. Alabama. Part of the event, we recognize the breast cancer survivors in the audience. And a lot of breast cancer survivors or cancer survivors don't, they, they abstain from alcohol because it can reduce their risk of a cancer recurrence. Yeah. So we want to keep that in mind. So we offer the mocktail, well, for anyone, but we know that a large um, part of our audience is going to want to abstain from alcohol. So we do that. And it's just as good. It's wonderful. And it's just a beautiful event. I got to go last year. It was amazing. Looking forward to Thursday night where you get to sip on this pink drink and then you get to watch a fashion show and yeah. I think my favorite part and I was thinking about this today is how supportive the audience is and how confident the people feel on the runway the survivors there that are modeling their dresses it is really something that's special to be a part of yeah it's really neat I mean we, we are, we're honoring our models who are all breast cancer survivors this year but they're wearing designs by local artists they're Birmingham fashion designers who are creating specific looks so that's another beautiful partnership but one thing that our executive director always tells our models before they're going out, that they could be wearing a potato sack and that audience is gonna go uh -huh. wild for them. Um, but of course they are wearing these beautiful custom looks um, that just is really, it's a really inspiring event. It's really fun. Everybody wears their best hot pink. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fun, fashionable night. And then we benefit all those impacted by breast cancer in Alabama. All the money stays right here in state. Love it. Is this the mocktail version? Yes. It is the mocktail version. I'm going to give it a little sip. <laughs> it is delicious. This Thursday, hot pink. You can visit our website for information on how to get tickets. And I look so forward to being there again this week. And Jorge, thank you for thank all you your help. Know, thank you for the invitation. Yeah. I I'll always love to do this. Ah, love it. Thank awesome. You. 6.30. 6.30. Yes. Red Mountain, Red Mountain Theater, not yes. amphitheater. All right, we're going to